You know who I'm gonna get up next to? Is that bad? Is that a bad thing if you say get up next to you? No, it just means like dance. Okay, I never know like the new terms. Like you can't say, like you can't say, what's the word? Uh, what's the word that you can't say? Like when you're talking about Netflix and chill. I don't know. No, 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 no. What's the word that means like you're gonna actually get with someone? And I thought it meant just like you're gonna get hang, up with someone? hang, hang out with them. Mm -hmm. And my kids informed me, <laughs> mother, no. Anyway, here at America Trends, we talk about what your social media says is trending. <laughs> and then unless we can't remember it, and then we just sit around and talk about a concept. Uh, let's get right back to it. The news media, believe it or not, actually started covering the big difference in the crowd sizes at the overflowing Trump rallies versus the Hillary rallies. They can't draw more than a few hundred people. My next guest says that even though Trump is losing in the polls, his rally sizes well, what he's actually getting right down to it is the size does matter. It does. Oh, no. It does. No. Oh, no. Is that another thing I can't say? You can't say that. Oh, rally size, of course. It's going to boost our audience, though. I know, right? Yes. And so you tell us, Barry, how, <laughs> how it is that size matters. I'll tell you, G, that's a great question, and size does matter if you're running for president of the United States. Yes. Okay, so. Trump's drawing 10,000, 15,000, 18,000 yeah. people. People get on the roads and they're backed up in traffic for six hours. Yeah. You can go in to a Clinton rally, literally, or a Tim Kaine rally uh, on a moped as it's about to start. Right. And you'll be one of the 400 people in the crowd. In fact, on a number of occasions, they're having to put the black tarps up in the gyms so on television it doesn't look as empty as it is and they're covering empty seats. You know they could just use like a, a big picture of an audience and make it, it look could. like they're... It could. It could be done. But what it really says I'm is... they have it, frankly. <laughs> what, what it says is there is a rock star status that's pulling people out of their homes for Trump. Yeah. People are experiencing something that they know is special, it's yeah. unique, and it's their once in a lifetime opportunity, or they can go to a Democratic rally. You know what I wish they would do with those Trump rallies? I wish Mr. Trump would pull the people in the audience and ask how many of them have voted before? How many of them have attended a rally before? Because I really think that it is those rallies that are the, the it factor, the Brexit factor, if you will, in this election. I don't think those people are getting polled because I don't think they're people that have voted before. This is actually producer Jason that brought this to my attention initially. Um, but the more I think about it, you know how traditionally candidates have always gone after that that moderate vote the, the, and then they and then they start breaking people up by race and right. gender and all the stupid labels and uh, that divide us and uh, this candidate mr trump has not done anything that the establishment would advise including that but i think that may be because he understands marketing and he knows that if people are going to drive that far and stand in line on a hot or cold day and sit in a crowd of 25,000 which I love Mr. Trump. Can I tell you? I would never go to a rally right. for him. I will vote. Every one of those people is going to vote. And I don't think that the polls are indicative of that. Well, you made three points, and I agree with all three of them. Number one, there are polls that show Hillary Clinton up by 19 points. I mean, so far in advance of where the election should be right now that they're encouraging her pick the cabinet and write your inaugural address mm -hmm. and they don't even want to talk about the campaign right. anymore on the other side you've got the uh, IBD poll the tip poll that has it in a virtual tie mm -hmm. polling at the same time they both have come out in the last two days how is it possible that it could be 19 or tied Here's why. Mm -hmm. Number one, IBD, which was voted the number one poll in 2012, that called the race within micro percentages of what actually happened, right. only uses real people to call real people. Mm -hmm. Huge difference between that and the robo calling of most of the polls. Number two, there's a sizable percentage, Gina, of people that are being polled that do not want to admit they're going to vote for Trump. There's a certain non PC sense of, of I don't want to be associated with those people however and when a machine calls you you don't know if that might be your union boss you don't know who's gonna see exactly. that data mm -hmm. so there's a certain percentage of withheld data that nobody knows how big it is however we have a secret ballot nobody knows what goes on behind the curtain mm -hmm. everybody picked Trump to lose every primary until he won mm -hmm. all the primaries we may have the same thing again go back in time 1984 
Carter was crushing Reagan in October, a month before the election. And what happened four weeks later? Reagan won the biggest landslide of the 20th century, right. destroyed Carter. We might be having the same thing happen again. We've got people that have never voted before, so those people are not on the voting calling rolls as previous likely voters. Those are people that are not called. Right. So these, I just signed up to vote just to change the system. Right. These are people, they don't know who's on the down ballot. And why ballot. would they have ever bothered voting for a Mitt Romney or a John McCall? You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> why would they, nobody, there's no, there was never any passion there. So these people probably just were like, my vote doesn't matter. Well, this is a different vote because this is one that pledges and has proven it will change the system right. entirely. You hit the nail right on the head. Nobody knows how big that segment is because there's no way to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the people in the street and you ask them, what's the difference in Washington between a Republican Congress yeah. and a Democratic Congress? Most people have no idea. Right. In fact, if you say, what's the difference between a Republican president and a Democratic president? Most people have no idea. And that, that percentage, whatever it is, I'm pissed, I'm angry, I'm disconnected to the political process, I haven't voted in 18 years or whatever, because it doesn't matter. Now for the first time, this group, however big it is, knows that they have a chance to change the system, to vote for a guy that's so far outside the system that he's not beholden to anyone. His own party bosses are embarrassed and a lot of them have disconnected themselves from him. And Hillary and her entire cartel, who have spent their entire lives defending a criminal, um, they have to win. They, they have to win. They have to do everything, even criminally possible, to win. Because she probably will go to prison if Mr. Trump is elected. So there's With a, a new attorney more, general, that's likely. There's a lot more at stake than an election, even a presidential election, right? right? And so, And a lot of people probably go with her, and they probably know it. And so it, when you look at it like that, my question to you, because the women's story has gotten kind of old, I'm not even seeing the lamestream media trying to dredge that up as much because right. they don't know what they said, they made all the accusations, there's zero proof. Um, do you think there's another October surprise or do you think Hillary's done? Surprise coming from the press or WikiLeaks, surprise you mean? coming from Hillary. No, I believe there's more, there's more WikiLeaks, there's more James O'Keefe, there's probably more FOIA at FBI. God only knows. We might see Hillary's deleted 33,000 emails. I really think it's a possibility. That's, I agree. Uh, but what will, what will Hillary do something else to Mr. Trump or is she out of ammo? You know, I think they're going to keep her as low profile as possible they think they're because winning. they think they've already do won. Do you think they really think they've won? Yeah, I do. You I do. do. I truly do. Because they only stand tradition. They only understand traditional. Nobody within politics. the system, Gina, understands that traditional polling doesn't apply. There are tens, possibly big tens of millions of people that have gotten in and signed up to vote for the first time in a generation. Just but why to wouldn't change. Hillary's people know that? See, I think her people would know that. So because that's there's no way to know how many of those people are. True. All right, we're out of time. Thanks for being with us. Barry, find him at findbarry.com, and we'll be back in just a sec. Stay put.